welcome to Chasing 80s for another Toy Tuesday video. This week we are getting into the newest figures in the 2024 Super Powers line from McFarland Toys. These five inch figures are amazing. We're gonna take a look at Manga Batman. We're gonna look at Kilowog of the Green Lantern Corps. We are going to look at Superman's greatest villain, Brainiac, or should I say smartest villain? <laughs> and last but not least is Booster Gold's little buddy, the Blue Beetle. So sit back, relax, as we bust open some toys. First up in this line is Kilowog. And this is a hefty figure. Of course, you can see that great art there on this retro superpowers inspired packaging. And he's there on that bubble art. And you can see, of course, our full set of figures there, numbered and ready to go. The new vehicles in this wave, of course, are Brainiac Skull Ship and the Blue Beetle Bug Ship. And here it says, a brilliant geneticist on his home world, Bolivox Vic Kilowog, served as Green Lantern of Sector 674. Following the destruction of his planet during the events of Crisis on Infinite Earths, Kilowog trained new Green Lantern recruits, teaching essential tools to survive the most dangerous job in the universe. Of course, all the rest of the packaging is what you would expect. So let's do what we do, get this thing open. All right, as you can see here, Kilowog is a beast of a figure. Again, featuring the seven points of articulation. We've got those hinged knees with the pins, the hips, the shoulders, and supposedly the neck. You can see that how small that neck is, how the face comes clear around the packaging or the, uh, you know, shoulders and <laughs> the body. You can also see the ring is featured there on his fist. And here's a closer look at that ring. And of course his head does move, but just barely. You can see it just kind of swings back and forth just a tiny bit. Of course, got a lot of muscular sculpt in the back, legs and that typical chest we see in the superpowers line. And here is the Blue Beetle. Look at that art. Blue Beetle, basically the sidekick of none other than Booster Gold. If you are not a fan of Booster Gold and Blue Beetle, what are you doing with your life? And of course, Great packaging here. Again, we see the same card back as Kilowog. And in Blue Beetle, it says, archeologist Dan Garrett discovered an ancient scarab in an old Egyptian tomb that gave him superpowers, which he used to fight crime. He eventually tired and was succeeded by the brilliant Ted Cord, who carried on the Blue Beetle legacy. I believe this is the first time we've seen Blue Beetle in an action figure, so let's Take a look closer. I should say in a super powers action figure. And here he is in all his glory. Take a look at that unique Blue Beetle figure. Of course, this time Blue Beetle is sculpted with open hands, so he could carry accessories if he came with any, but I suspect those are to help position him on his ship accessory or vehicle. There you go. Not sure why he stopped there on the turntable, but to give you a better look, let's let him go around a couple more times. This is a great addition to the Super Powers lineup. Here is Superman's nemesis, the Brainiac. Featuring that good old 70s art with the 70s romper <laughs> and those white boots and all those connections. Man, what a classic 70s and 80s Superman villain. 
Brainiac's unquenchable thirst for absolute knowledge, regardless of the billions of innocent lives which may be destroyed in the process, has made him one of the deadliest villains of the universe has ever seen. There we see the rest of that packaging, which we've already taken a look at a few times here. So let's jump in to this figure and free him from his tomb. So here we have Brainiac, and of course we can position him a bit. Get him in more of an action pose, shall we? I like, let's see, I like that arm up front. A little bend of the leg. We're gonna raw. <laughs> As you can see here, Brainiac is again in that seven point sculpt. You can see the back of the figure there in all his glory, ready to take on Superman and add to his collection. All right, lastly, we are going to jump into the Japanese Batman featuring this all gray outfit. Again, that 80s era art in the all gray. And of course, this is just a basic Batman figure. So it says, in the name of the murdered parents, Bruce Wayne wages eternal war on criminals of Gotham City. He is vengeance. He is the knight. He is Batman. Same packaging from the rest of that line, so let's stop talking about it and let's get this thing open. And there he is. Of course, featuring that all gray outfit with the peach colored or beige utility belt and bat symbol. He also comes with this gray soft goods cape Again, this is just a clip-on, so it clips around that neck so you can remove it from his cowl. This sculpt on this appears to be identical to every other Batman in the McFarlane series. So nothing you're getting special here, but a new paint color. And of course, he is featured again with those clenched fists and the seven points of articulation we know from the superpowers line. Well, there you go, guys. McFarlane Toys is off to a huge start here in 2024 with Manga Batman, Blue Beetle, Brainiac, and Kilowog. What did you think of these figures? Again, we're seeing these interesting classic retro sculpts in a series that really is a great throwback to the superpowers of the 80s. Uh, my favorite in this line probably has to be that classic 70s slash 80s looking Brainiac with the go-go boots and everything he's got going on there. Really is a comically uh, interesting figure, I'll say. So what do you think? What was your favorite in this line? Drop a comment. It really does help with the channel. And again, thanks for making it to the end of this video as always. And if you want to join us for more toy videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And for alerts, ring or hit the alert button for notifications. And until next time, have fun.